Hello, uh, this is Golden Hog. This is uh, Captain Stupid. Uh, we're here to play Hobo Dan, a Megazooks game. <laughs> mm hmm. Furious anger. Furious anger! Have any injuries? <laughs> what? Okay. Hobo Dan. I don't know anything about this game. It was just suggested that I play it. Can, can I have a potato? <laughs> Free Bogart. Wow. Bag of peas. <laughs> Take off my side. Uh, um. No. I'm not doing that. That's gross. Play this game with yogurt. Okay, Mac. Regularville. <laughs> 193X AD. <laughs> B. Banana. Sh I don't know. Hooverville. Science messed up. I'm kind of hungry. I could sure go for some soup or a potato if there is such a thing. <laughs> Your home television set gets six channels. Off, 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 always off, and no cathode ray tube. What? You sleep on a pile of filthy newspapers. I'd wash them, but they have a certain je ne sais quoi. Is that something? Hobo Dan had a look at the astounding coffee table book. It's how to be a real good hobo. Lesson one, press the number keys to rummage around in your pathetic knapsack. Is there any soup in there? Lesson two, there is no soup in the knapsack, ever. Elbow grease gives you nourishment. How about potatoes? Lesson three, press space to use firearms. Baths are for suckers, don't talk to gremlins. Anything else? Lesson four, televisions are dripping with wisdom. Never talk to gremlins. <laughs> oh, right. Hobo. Hmm, all right. Numbers. There is nothing in your knapsack. Okay. Nothing is in my Are you going to save your game? Oh, yeah, I guess uh, I'll save that. You don't know. This is probably going to have a lot of cheap deaths. It just seems like it. Yeah. Or not any. Hobo Farfell, my house is full of tables. Hobo Dan, can I have some soup? Sorry, my house is full of tables. Just need the soup, actually. Yep. Shiz Farfell. Herman's Palace. <laughs> it's a cardboard box. I live in a palace. Unfortunately, you're destitute. Hey, wait, what's this? It's, it's a, a secret. It's a secret, but there's nothing there. Hey, go shoot some hoops. Oh. Let's play basketball. That uh, anything like tennis? No. Yep. Hilarious. Well, Mac, if you're going south, you can munch with your mouth at Splinky's generic pizza. You'll eat a pizza pie. You can have a good time if you want at Splinky's generic pizza. Moonray guns for the kids. Look what your children did at Splanky's Generic Pizza. That's right, gentlemen, for hot pizza fries, pies. It's Splanky's Generic Pizza Restaurant, now with a pleasant new location in Tin Pan Alley. Remember, Mac, honey is the root of all purchases. Money. Honey? Oh, yeah, money. That makes more sense, doesn't it? Uh, yeah. Remember, Mac, if you're lodged in limbo, seek nothing but northeast. Ask for it by name. 
Is that a clue? Hey Mac, here's some advice from hobos in the know. I'm a hobo in the hungry. If you want to get some chow, you gotta wait in line, see? How about some minestrone? Hmm, now if you want the soup that much, Mac, you could try this little joint I know just down the road called Screeches. Do they have soup there? They have your destiny there. Whoa. Okay. Hey, what's that? Screeches Hole in the Wall Ristorante. Hello, one please. What? Who the hell are you? Hobo Dan didn't catch your name. Le Screech, and I'll be your waiter for the rest of your life. What? See, the old hobo's almanac says I'm going to get real old. Great! May I take your horrible, rancid, filthy, stinking, vile, disgusting order? Could I have some soup? What the hell do you need that for? Hold the disgusting odor, please. Here, have some mo peas. They're good for you. Well, if you insist twice. Fantastic. Fantastic. I hope they taste <laughs> like rotten sulfur. What? How are the peas? They're a little bit... Oh, is that the end? Um. Whoa. <laughs> um. <laughs> is that Curry Shandling? Wait, who is that? I don't know who that is. Well, what? this is interesting, isn't it? Whoa. <laughs> oh, my aching hat. He's coming around. That's old Mac for you. Here, here, here. <coughs> you filthy assembled masses. He had the peas. Surely he also had an astounding vision. Surely he had an astounding entree. I saw a Cuban. His pockets were full of murder. Oh. I say, was his house full of tables? As far as the nose could smell. Well, Mac, then it could only mean one thing. Pasquale is talking out of his wisdom. What? See, Mac, if you want to read the great works of literature, you have to learn how to read. Rats. But see, if you want to read the so-so works of literature, then you have to learn how to read symbolism. What? I'll break it down for you, Mac. Your quest is going to be short and horrible. It will then be lost in the annals of history. Does it involve soup? Now the murderous Cuban you saw represents Pat, who is on his way to Hooverville with a karaoke machine or a murder bot. Obviously, the murder bot represents <laughs> murder. <laughs> Does anything ever represent soup? No, but fear not, Mac. You're in the pink. The tables represent the furniture Pat will trip over and die because his giant nose stands for clumsiness. It wasn't all that big. Then you're doomed. Isn't there anything we can do or eat? Of course you know I'd like some soup. Well, that, Mac, calls for an uncanny sum of pocket change or wisdom. Do you have either? No. Will you have any tomorrow? No. How about Tuesday? Perhaps, but there is a way even more obvious than that, Mac. Remember the old hobo's almanac? They say up in Craxton, just south of the tracks, that run through the junkyard between Spudsburg and Nax, there sits an old hobo with twinkling eyes and soup in his beard, being wistful and wise. You got it, Mac. Of course, the Swedish ambassador. No. Rats. The glorious stanzas, Mac, are referring to Mulligan, king of the hobos. Whoa. Do they refer to anything else? His lovely wife, Nancy. Anything else? His stupendous Mulligan shuffle. But do they refer to anything else? The stanzas do not at any time refer to soup. How about potatoes? 
Listen, Mac, your fantastic job is to travel to the junkyard and present your case to Mulligan, King of the Hobos. Only then can we save Hooverville from absolute murder. The way will be obvious, boring, and full of gremlins. <laughs> How will I get there? The gremlins will point the way. Don't listen to gremlins. Gremlins point the wrong way. But there's lots of wrong ways. They're pointing in them. I don't know. This sounds pretty soupless to me. <laughs> Which is exactly why I've just, just invented a stupendous new invention to save your bacon. Step into my office, Mac, if you're not hopelessly paralyzed. Just a minute, Mac. I know I've got it in this pathetic knapsack someplace. No rush. Aha! Take a good look, Mac, at my finest and only invention. I give you the Hobo Blaster. Do hobos use it to blast things, or does it just blast the hobos? It hasn't been tested yet. Anyways, Mac, this little doozy is guaranteed to keep you fit as an alley rat and twice as filthy along your horrendous voyage. Now get out there and win one for poverty. Whoa. Aren't you coming along? I have to take a whiz. What? <laughs> Try shooting everybody. Oh, doesn't work. You can't shoot here. Wait. Let's play basketball. <laughs> Wait, can you go down? Go south. See if you can mm. go that way. Nope. nope. Alright, let's get this show on the road. You better save your game. Yeah, I better. Gremlin zone that away. Okay, they said it was to the northeast. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> An upside down tree. What is that? Um, shoot it. I can't shoot. Well, uh, I thought they said space bar was how to shoot. Can you try talking to them? All uh, right, they're just. Monsters, it looks like. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> this is messed up, man. I like the music. Whoa. Oh, I better save my game again. Try a different button, see if they do anything. Alright, anything but far, right? Because that's the record button. Save the trees. Uh, I guess not. You can't shoot for some reason? Maybe this game isn't finished? Uh... Construction by Hobo Wikers project under the bum deal. Fantastic junkyard. I read that as dot autistic. And you're dying. Eh, just follow the festering puddle of drainage, Mac. Where will that take me? Well, it sure ain't the soup kitchen. Rats. Oh, health. How do you know that's health? Because uh. Uh, they explained it earlier. Well, Meatloaf's a coming. I can feel it in me nose. It is not the main course that you whiff, but the vi visitors. 